Good day, Philippines. Hello, Region 1. Aloha, San Carlinian learners. Airing live from the Mangu Bambu capital of the Philippines, San Carlos City. You're tuning in to CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home of every SDOSCC learner, where passion is the key. Learning paves the way with our division mantra, developing creativity, maximizing versatility. This is your CCN Broadcast Center. CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home of every SDOSCC learner. Welcome to Music Class with Teacher Les. And today, we are about to learn timbre in music. And so, let's prepare a piece of paper and a pen, and of course, your module in Music 6, Quarter 3, Module 2, Timbre Western Orchestra. And so for our objective, describes the instrumental sections of Western Orchestra. So before that class, let's have a short review on the first module or in module one. The first question is, number one, music has different structures or designs. What is the element of music that refers to the structure of a song? A, dynamics. B, form, C, melody, and D, timbre. What is your answer? The correct answer is form. Let's try the second question. If the song follows A, B, A, C, A sequence, what form does it refer to? Is it A, binary, B, rondo, C, strophic, and D, ternary what is your answer of course the correct answer is rondo for the third question coda is usually placed in which part of the song a at the end of the song b in any part of the song or c at the middle of the song and d at the beginning of the song What's your answer? The correct answer is at the end of the song. That is right. Moving on. Which of the following musical symbols tells you to repeat the sign? Is it A, Alfine, B, Coda, C, TS or Dalsenio, and D, repeat bars? And the correct answer is letter D, Dalsenio. And for number five, what musical symbol means repeat from the beginning up to the end? Is it A, da capo, B, fine, C, Dalsenio, and D, da capo al fine? And of course, the correct answer is letter D, DC al fine. Great job, kids! Now, for today's lesson, Timber Western Orchestra. So before that, let us see how much do you know. Direction, write the letter of the correct answer on a piece of paper or even in the live chat. Don't forget to comment. And you're given five seconds to answer each question. Number one, an orchestra is a group of musicians who play a variety of instruments. What are the different instrumental families in an orchestra? A, brass, percussion, string, and woodwind. Letter B, brass, percussion, and wind. C, brass wind, percussion, and string. And D, 
percussion, string, and woodwind. Timer starts now. How about number two? Woodwind instruments are played by blowing air into the mouthpiece. What is the biggest instrument among the woodwind family? A. Bassoon B. Oboe C. Piccolo and D. Saxophone Timer starts now. Let's try number three. The string family is the biggest section in the orchestra. Among the string instruments, which one is the largest and produces a very low sound? Is it A, cello, B, double bass, C, viola, and D, violin? Take your time. Fourth question. The instruments of the brass wing section are made of brass, metal, or silver alloy. The tone is produced by blowing through the mouthpiece while the fingers are pressing the valves. What is the only sliding instrument in the brass family? Is it A. French horn, B. Trombone, C. Trumpet, and D. Tuba? Thumbs up. And for the last question, for the pretest, we have number five. There are three ways of playing string instruments like bowing, strumming, and plucking. This instrument is played by plucking its 47 strings and using seven pedals to change the pitch. What string instrument is this? A. Guitar. B. Harp. C. Viola and D, violin. And now it's time to reveal your answers. So for number one, correct answer is letter A, brass, percussion, string, and woodwind. How about number two? That is right, it is letter A, bassoon. For number three, we have double bass. For number four, the answer is letter B, trombone. And for number five, of course, letter B, which is harp. So class or grade six learners, Welcome to the Western world of the musical instruments! So I have a question for you. Kids, do you like playing musical instruments? Mm -hmm. So, what musical instruments do you want to play? That's right, piano. What else? Okay, guitar, very good. I also love to play guitar. Yes, that is right, drums. So, do you want to play together with other musical or musicians in an orchestra or even in the future? So let's watch this short video. Great job, Jaden. You won. He's a six year old boy displaying his uh, passion in playing drums. And who knows, right? Will be our future drummer in San Carlos City.
Congratulations and good job for the proud parents as well. So class, anyone of you who knows the song or the orchestra song? Okay, so if you do, please, or let's sing with me. Come on. And the trumpet starts to ting da 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 The horn, the horn will wake me at morn. The horn, the horn. And drums, of course. One, five, 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 Let us sing all together. Did you enjoy the song, kids? I hope so. And now, what musical instruments did you hear or was mentioned in the orchestra song? Can you name one? Of course, violin. What else? Clarinet, correct. Trumpet. Horn. And of course, the last one is trumps. You got it right. Okay. And so, class, what can you see in this picture? That is right. It is a picture of an orchestra. Are you familiar with the orchestras? in our neighbor towns or cities. So an orchestra is a large group of musicians playing different musical instruments together with a conductor who plays an important role in leading the musicians during performance. So a conductor evolved from time bearer into a musical guide or the mentor or the chief inspiration for all musicians and of course to the audience. So I have here another picture and that vocalist is named Buddy, hello my friend, and he's singing in front of an orchestra. So it is an instrumental ensemble composed of four instrumental families. We have string, woodwind, brass, and percussion. Each section of the instrument produces its own distinct quality, which is called timbre. So now, class, what is timber? Timber is the quality of a musical sound or tone that distinguishes one musical instrument from the others. Musical instruments are categorized based on how sounds are produced. So now, let's go to the instrument families of the orchestra. Let's start first with the string family. Any wild guess? We have the woodwind family. We have also brass family. And for the last one, we have percussion family. Which family is your favorite? Let's start with the string family. So string family is the biggest section of the orchestra. Have four strings that are attached to the wooden tuning pegs on the headpiece located on the top of the neck. And the strings are stretched over the body and neck of the instrument. 
So we have here this clip. The bow is made of wood and horse hairs. Musicians press down on the strings with their fingers of the left hand and draw the bow across the string with the right hand. So, strings, or they produce sounds whether strings are being plucked or fi by fingers or struck by and bowed with a bow. The smaller it is, the higher the pitches it plays. And the larger the instrument is, the lower the pitches it plays. So, are you ready? Let's start the first clip. Class, what do you call that kind of instrument which was just played earlier? Any guess? That is right. It is called a violin. Are you familiar with it? So a violin is the smallest and has the highest pitch in the string family. And often called the leader or the heart of the orchestra. Moving on. So, what can you see in that picture? What instrument is that? You're right. It is a viola. A viola is a little larger in size and has slightly thicker strings than the violins. It produces a darker, thicker, and a lesser brilliant tone. Let's try this. So again, what kind of instrument is that? Any guess? That is cello. Cello has thicker strings than the violins and the violas. And it is played with a shorter and thicker bow. Usually, class, this instrument rests against the knees of the musician who is seated while playing it. So take a look at that picture. That is the correct way of handling it or playing it as well. So what have you noticed in, based on the sound that you have heard? Okay, so that is an example of a double bass. It has the lowest pitch among the string instruments. Strings which are very long and thick produces a deep and sonorous sound. And for the last one, I know you are familiar with it. Mm -hmm. That is an example of, or what instrument is that? A harp, of course. So a harp has 47 strings which are plucked with fingers and not bowed. It has seven pedals to change the pitch of the strings. It also consists of a triangular. Okay, so let's have first the second family, which is the woodwind family. So the woodwind family, or instruments in this family, are used to be made of wood before, but nowadays it is made of metal, plastics, or some combinations. Okay, so they are all tubes with an opening at one end and a mouthpiece at the end. And they each have rows of holes that are covered by metal keys or metal caps called keys. So they produce sound when they play or when the player blows air against the sharp edge or through a reed causing the air within its resonator to vibrate. So here are the examples of the woodwind family or woodwind instruments. Musicians play these instruments by blowing air through the mouthpiece and opening or closing the holes with their fingers to change the pitch. 
So the first one is a piccolo. How about the second one? Mm -hmm. Any guess? I guess you're familiar with it. That is right, flute. How about the third one? Usually black. That is clarinet. How about the fourth picture? That is oboe. For the fifth one, that is bassoon. And for the last one, I guess this one is more um, common for jazz music. That is saxophone. Okay. So, what kind of instrument is that? That is right, it is piccolo. Piccolo is the soprano in the woodwind family. It is like a small flute and the sound is higher than the flute. Did you hear that? What musical instrument is that? That is right, it's a flute. A flute is an earphone or reedless instrument. So when we say earphones, these are instruments that produce sound by vibrating air. Okay, that is an example of a clarinet. A clarinet, a cylindrical instrument with a cup-shaped mouthpiece and flaring bell at the other end. Its tone can vary from a low to brilliant pitches. Mm -hmm. What instrument is that? That is oboe. Oboe is the most dramatic among the woodwind instruments and has a double reed mouth piece. Like what I've said earlier, it is usually black, which is normally made of wood. Let's try this. That is a bassoon. Bassoon is the clown of the orchestra because of the unusual, often comic sounds it produces. The largest and the lowest sounding orchestral woodwind. And the last one. That is, that is right, a saxophone. A saxophone has a cone-shaped body of brass with the lower end bent into a U-shaped design and usually comes in several sizes. Let's try this another family, which is the brass family. I know you're familiar with this. So again, the brass family producing the loud, exciting parts of the orchestra made of metal and blown to create sounds buzzing by the player's slip against the mouthpiece. So how do we differentiate a brass instrument to a woodwind instrument? So a brass family, it's lip vibrated objects. They produce sound from the vibration created by the musicians pressing their lips up against the mouthpiece while blowing. So it's really a talent if you have or if you're good at playing brass instruments. Those tubes help the instruments to make different sounds. So again, by pressing the valves, as you can see in that picture or animation, the player adds an additional length to the tube. And let's meet the brass family. We have the trumpet. We have the tuba, the French horn, and the last one is trombone. Let's try this one. That is the Odudu family. 
So again, that is an example of a trumpet. That is right, kids. So a trumpet is the leader and the soprano of the brass family. So earlier, piccolo is the soprano from the woodwind family. And now trumpet is the soprano of the brass family. The smallest and main instrument of the brass family that produces the highest and brilliant sound. Let's take this one. A bit lower than the first one, right? Okay, so that is an example of a tuba. The bass member of the brass family. The largest among the brass family with a mouthpiece and a big bell-shaped opening a to, uh, to a tube that is wrapped around an oval. Okay, so this one, of course, very obvious because of the shape itself. That is an example of a French horn. And French horn is the alto member of the brass family. It is 12 feet long and sounds mellow than the trumpet. It has a valve that is bent into, the, into a circle called the rotary valves. And this one? Okay, so what have you noticed in that musical instrument? And that is trombone. The tenor member of the brass family. Okay, take note of this. The only sliding instrument in the brass family that uses a slide rather than the keys, valves, or strings. And for the fourth family, we have the percussion instruments. Refer to the musical instruments that produce sound by striking them with sticks or hammers, while others are through rubbing or shaking them against another similar instrument. Okay, so for percussion family class, we have two kinds or two types. We have the pitch percussion and the and pitch percussion. One example for that is timpani. The second one is xylophone and glockenspiel. For the pitch, we have the snare drum and the bass drum. Of course, the cymbals and the triangle. So what do we mean by pitch percussion? Pitch percussion are instruments produce notes with identifiable or definite pitch. Can you hear that? That is an example of a timpani. It is the loudest of all the orchestra instruments and requires a tremendous precision of the timpanist. It can be played as both rhythmic and melodic instrument. How about this one, class? I know you're a bit confused. Okay, so that is an example of a xylophone. So it consists of wooden bars struck by plastic, wooden, or rubber mallets. Each bar is tuned to a specific pitch of the musical scale, and it produces wooden, bright, rattling, shrill, hollow, tinkling, and clear sounds. How about this one? I guess you're familiar with that. I guess it is used in a drum and lyre, right? So that is an example of a glockenspiel. A glockenspiel arranged like the xylophone but with a steel bell instead of a wood. It is smaller in size than a xylophone and creates musical sounds that are higher in pitch. Now let's move on to the unpitched percussion produces notes with an unidentifiable or indefinite pitch. Example, I know you're familiar with that. 
that is a snare drum. We also have a bass drum. You can even go it together. It goes together. Another is cymbals and a triangle. So let's try this. Drum rolling. A snare drum is played with a drumstick and it is used for rolls in a classical setting or for adding accent to the music or get ready. How about this? It's a bit low. So as you can see in that picture, that is an example of, of course, a bass drum. A bass drum is the large drum that produces a note of low definite or indefinite pitch. It is used to keep a pulse in music. It's like dip 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 dip. And this one. That is an example of symbols. They are used in pairs and consist of thin, normally round plates of various alloys. They produce sharp clashing or crashing sounds like what we have heard earlier. And for the last one, we have triangle. It has a triangular shape. It is played by striking with a stick. So, class, can you imagine our life would be if there are no music or musical instruments? Mm -hmm. Definitely not. Or life would be a bit dull or boring, right? Now, how can, how can it be of great help for you as learners? You can use this musical instrument using a song or percussion instruments in learning basic mathematical operations, right? So it's like um, you try to learn a keyboard. It's like five, six, five, four, three, two, one, two, three, four, three, two, one, right? So you can even inject mathematical operations. Singing or playing a woodwind instrument can strengthen the respiratory system. So it's a part of what? Vocalization? and strengthening your body systems. So, why do we need to take care of these instruments? Taking care of musical instruments is so important to maintain its function, quality of sound, of course, incre uh, increase durability, and less expenditure or maintenance and repair. Music defines cultures and reflects the society and the individual within it. So class, there are other or are there any similarities to those instruments available in, the, in our country, in the Philippines? Of course, I have cited those pictures like Babandil and the Kulintang. Okay, instruments used for usually for gongs and drums. Another is we have palindag or the bamboo flute and the sulibao, which is the um, conical tenor drum. So class, it's activity time. So I guess you are now ready to do the first activity. So identify the instruments of the Western Orchestra and its type or what family. Let's have this first picture. Okay. Let's reveal. So name the instrument. Obviously, that is cymbals. And what type of instrument does it belong? Of course, it belongs to the percussion family. How about the second picture? Mm -hmm. Any guess, class? That is tuba. Of course, what type of instrument is that? Brass family or brass instrument. Moving on, let's have the third picture. Like what we have said earlier, the player is sitting. 
while playing it. That is cello. That is right. And what type of instrument? It is, or it came from the string instrument. For the fourth one, mm -hmm. this is very common. That is an example of what? A trumpet. That is right. And it belongs to the brass family. And for the last picture, we have, mm -hmm. that is an example of a glockenspiel. And it belongs to percussion family. For activity two, write true or false. And if it's false, give the correct answer. Number one, glockenspiel is a smaller than xylophone and with a steel bell instead of a wood. Is it true or false? What is your answer? That is true. Moving on. And pitch percussion instruments produce notes with unidentifiable or indefinite pitch. Is it true or false? That is right, that is true. And for number three. The only instrument in the Braswin family that uses a slide rather than the keys, valves, or strings in which is called tuba. Is it tuba? Correct answer is false. So what is the correct answer? With the strings or a slide. Trombone, that is right. The fourth one. Oboe is the music or the most dramatic among the woodwind instruments and has a double reed mouthpiece. Is it true or false? That's right, true. And for the fifth one, double bass is the smallest and has the highest pitch in the string family. Do you think it's double bass? That is false. So what is the correct answer, class? Mm-hmm. You got it right. That is a violin. So well, class, I know that you are now ready for the assessment. But for now, let's have a recap of what we have discussed earlier. It's about timbre. Timbre, the instruments in the same family, take note of this, can have different timbers. And instrument played in different ways can create different timbers. Timber is the sound quality of an instrument. So it's like when you try to differentiate um, a trombone to a saxophone or a flute to a human voice. And that makes timber more colorful. For musical instruments, these are grouped into different families, right? Based on the way the instrument makes its sound. So we have, again, the four families. We have the string family, the brass family, we have the woodwind family and the percussion family. The instrumental sections of the Western Orchestra can be identified visually and orally. And string is the biggest section of the orchestra. Instruments in this section are played either by bowing, plucking, or strumming. The four most, uh, most common instruments in the string family, we have violin, viola, correct, cello, and double bass. Woodwind instruments are all tubes with an opening at one end and mouthpiece at the other end. Woodwind family includes, we have piccolo, flute, what else? Clarinet, oboe, bassoon, and saxophone. The brass instruments are lip vibrated instruments and it includes trumpet, French horn, trombone, and tuba. 
we have two kinds of percussions we have pitch and pitch and for percussions sounded by striking with sticks hammers or mallets while the others are through rubbing or shaking against another similar instruments so I guess let's see how much you have learned today so are you ready guys for the assessment so choose the letter of the correct answer and you are given 10 seconds to write it on your answer sheet or even to comment down below in our live chat. First question. The string family is the biggest section in an orchestra. What is the largest string instrument that produces a very low sound? A. Cello B. Double bass C. Viola and D. Violin Timer starts now. The correct answer is double bass, the largest string instrument that produces a very low sound. The timer doesn't even work. How about this example? It is the smallest instrument of the brass wind family that produces the highest pitch and the most brilliant sound. What instrument is being referred to? Is it French horn, trombone, letter C, trumpet, or D, tuba? Timon's up. And the correct answer is trumpet. The smallest instrument of the brass wind family that produces the highest pitch and the most brilliant sound. How about number three? The timer's not working. An orchestra is a group of musicians playing a symphony of different instruments. What are the group of families, families of instruments that are composed of an orchestra? Any guess? I guess it's what it was already written in the pretense. We have four. Correct answer is, of course, the brass wind, percussion, string, and woodwind. Letter B. For the fourth question, woodwind instruments are played by blowing air into the mouthpiece. What is the biggest instrument among the woodwind family? Is it A. Bassoon, B. Oboe, C. Piccolo, or D. Saxophone? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Answers reveal. Of course, the correct answer is saxophone. Usually, often used for jazz music and the biggest instrument among the woodwind family. And for the fifth question, percussion instruments are played by striking them with sticks or hammers or by shaking or rubbing them together. What do you call a pair of a plate-like metallic musical instrument played by clashing together? A. Cymbals, B. French horn, C. Oboe, and D. Trombone. Very obvious. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Answers reveal. The correct answer is or symbols. It is a pair of plate-like metallic musical instrument played by clashing together. So for your additional activities or offline activity, draw your favorite Western musical instrument inside that box. And of course, no copyright infringement intended. Credits to the rightful owner of those pictures and audio materials. And again, once again, I would like to recognize also um, the parents of the, that little boy, it's Jaden Yuan Rosario, six-year-old boy, and also to my friend, Buddy Holly. Thank you very much. And of course, do not forget to always tune in to SDO SCCP TV, the school's division office of San Carlos City, only on YouTube channel for the latest and updates of the Carlos and Carlene Network or the Carlos and Carlene Network Broadcast Center. Okay, so there you go, guys. 
I'm your demo teacher, broadcaster for today in Music 6. Teacher Les from Central to Elementary School saying, Music and fun, of course, and stay safe, everyone. Goodbye. Philippines. Hello, Region 1. Aloha, San Carlinian learners. Airing live from the Mangu Bumbu capital of the Philippines, San Carlos City. You're tuning in to CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home of every SDOSCC learner, where passion is the key. Learning paves the way. With our division mantra, developing creativity, maximizing versatility. This is your CCN Broadcast Center. CCN Broadcast Center, a virtual home of every SDO SEC learner. <laughs> 